Tunisia's industry minister Mehdi Juma has been named as interim prime minister until elections take place next year. The ruling party in opposition made the announcement after months of negotiations. Well, we can now get more on that story. Uh, Stephen McInerney is the in executive director of projects on Middle East democracy. That's a Washington, D.C.-based think tank, and he joins us live from there. Uh, thanks very much for coming on the program. Um, I'd first like to talk about the man himself, Mehdi Joma. He is an industry minister. He's low-key. He's been lobbying for foreign investment. How significant is he or will he be in this new government and what what do you make of the choice well he has a, a very important role to play now and and there's still very very you know large challenges ahead for tunisia uh, i think as you know the government and the opposition and have been in fierce negotiations over the last couple of months trying to reach a choice that's acceptable to all sides i think mahdi joma uh, is you know a, a rare individual who uh, is acceptable to, to all sides in Tunisia. Uh, he's not, he doesn't have a lot of high profile political experience, uh, but he has, uh, he's respected as someone that has important private sector experience before he was in government. Uh, he's one of the few ministers in the Nahda led government uh, that'll be outgoing now uh, that is, does have the credibility with uh, the opposition and the more secular and, and leftist trends in Tunisia. Uh, so I, you know, I think he's uh, one of the few people that, that uh, could have uh, emerged out of this process. Uh, but we'll have to demonstrate real leadership uh, in the weeks ahead as he tries to form a caretaker government that's viewed as apolitical and technocratic and able to move Tunisia out of its crisis. But what can we take from the fact that the two sides have finally come to an agreement on a person, regardless of what the position is, but they have come to some kind of an agreement? Can we, can we read into it uh, as it's going to be a smoother road uh, going forward? Well, this is an uh, enormously important step forward. Uh, this is uh, it, it, this has been the the sort of block the roadblock uh, to the road map that was outlined a few months ago uh, this there has been a lot of question over whether the different sides could reach agreement on a prime minister there was a lot of fears that collapse in the national dialogue talks uh, you know, might you know might not be able to conclude uh, you know with this this kind of agreement so I, this is an important important step forward uh, but of course there remain a few uh, more important steps that must happen in, in the weeks ahead and in the year ahead, they're going to be moving towards elections. Can, can you see that with, with this current government, this cabinet in place? Can you see that it will be a free and fair uh, transition to that? Uh, certainly, I hope so, and I think the possibility for that is is pretty good. Yes, I, I we will see. But uh, Tunisia had very free and fair, fair elections in 2011 uh, for their constituent assembly. As long as they can now agree on a government, uh, finalize their constitution, uh, and agree on a framework for elections in the next few months, uh, then I think the stage will be set for hopefully uh, solid elections that will uh, help consolidate democracy uh, in Tunisia following a pretty difficult transition over the last couple of years. Stephen McInerney, good to speak to you. Thank you very much. Thank you.